When you're doing intratumoral immunotherapy, there's one aspect that really enhances the immune response. It's what we call a lytic agent or a lytic process. This can be ablation, so it could be cryoablation, it could be pulsed electrical field or other ablative technologies, or it can actually be an injectable agent itself. Chemotherapy in some ways will function as a lytic agent. You get tumor killing. That gets us pieces of dead tumor that the immune system can see boosting that immune response. But you know, interesting enough in, in prostate cancer, uh, it was seen for, for many years that zinc is actually toxic to prostate cancer cells. And so when you have a prostate cancer that's more infiltrative, so you don't have a focal area as much that you can target with ablation, but you've got scattered out and you want to kill this cancer, get pieces, dead pieces, but you don't want to kill normal tissue, then zinc, zinc acetate. And, and don't take my word for it, you can look it up and you can see that that, that kills cancer. There's many things that you can inject into cancer to kill it. And when you combine it with immunotherapy, you get this dead pieces, like an ablation, but with the immunotherapy, it's a synergy. There's many, many options. So certainly this can enhance the immune response.